Hello there. I'm pleased to talk about APD's uh, Spec BT app. Um, this is an app that's done on the um, free time of the people involved. Um, I'm just going to show you that this is our first app that also has a hardware. Uh, we're going to show you about the spectral photometer component where there's an on-off switch and it has a two channel for the cuvettes to uh, go in and there's a light channel and here we have the Arduino and the battery. Uh, it's a rechargeable battery so feel free to charge it using the micro USB port here uh, as we can see. And there's an on-off switch here which you must remember to turn on before you do the Bluetooth. So talking about the uh, app, at the moment you can see there's a spec BT icon here. Uh, this will allow connection uh, using Bluetooth. So before we do this, please do not forget that you must turn on the Bluetooth and you can see it by a little bit of glow blue light here at the top. Uh, and in here, uh, once you have enabled the Bluetooth, you can scan for it. It might take a while uh, depending on the device that you have. And based on this, you can connect to it. So our code for the connection is H5O, HCO5. You pair up with it and you have the code with, for this particular device. Okay. Once it's paired, you can click on pair anytime and click on the top left hand side menu and you can go down to spectral photometer. You can make sure it's connected all the time because the connection do, uh, it can drop off. And you will be able to see there's a light toggle switch here where you can turn on and off the light source, which is the LED. In this prototype, we only have the visible light. Um, and so uh, we are going to use a Bradford assay to determine protein quantification here. So having it on, we will choose for Bradford 595 nanometer wavelength. And you put in the blank on the top and the sample at the bottom. And you can see that immediately you have a deducted reading. Pressing default goes back to the original setting without any cuvettes in and you can see that without the cuvette in it's around 5 sorry 0.5 absorbance and here you can see um, that you can have a time-based colorimetric assay where you can leave your blank in as you change your samples at the bottom or if you so wish to you can put your blank in the second column calibrated so it's zeroed or at least as much close to zero and from here you don't need your blank anymore and you can put in your samples as and when you need to and the readings would come to you with the blank already subtracted if you want to restore it back to the original default you just click on default and you will see that we go back to the close to 0.5 absorbance. All right, so make sure that the lid is closed to prevent any other uh, interference from the outside light, and that's how you work. So just to give a quick demonstration, when you first put in your sample in, you have the reading, you can click on save result to save that one particular reading once the uh, readings have been stabilized. I'm just generating a few readings so I'm taking in and out the um, blank and you can save result so you can see the word data has been updated. Uh, you can view it anytime using uh, the view results and you can see that uh, at the wavelength and the absorbance. Of course you can choose to delete uh, or you can choose what you want to keep rather uh, and you can choose to export uh, the results into a CSV which you can then use for your Excel. So this would be the blank. Let's say you have done it 
without the blank in the in the first place. So we can always go back by clicking spectral photometer and here you can always generate more readings if you wish to. Okay. So I'm just putting in a random and then I'm just going to click save on results. Oops. Make sure the light source is on and we will save that result and going to the results table. When you go to the results table, you will see that the light automatically switches off and you can choose that to be your blank. Okay. So once the file has been exported, uh, you can then use uh, your Windows or another software to open it.